a lot of people walk to and ever listen to Sean Sense in the lovely hot tub. I'm here to do NXT TakeOver. Just took place like an hour ago. But man, what a disappointment, I thought. It was so hyped. I was so looking forward to it. The two main matches really delivered, I thought. But the tag match was lackluster. And everything else just fell flat, I thought. The Kenta debut, I thought, was really good. But everything else was just filler. It was just two good matches. And then the Kenta debut. And that was about it. That's all you need to see, really. But, heck, let's go and recap it. We don't know the NXT tag titles. The extension defending against Callisto and Sincara, a.k.a. Lucha Dragons. It, dis it disappointed me. Uh, it's been a really good match, but essentially, I don't think he can deliver really good matches anymore. Callisto and Sincara, they had some good spots on the match. Got the win, or your new tag champions. I'm happy for that. Get rid of this extension. Not a big fan of this extension. All they do is squash matches, squash matches. Hopefully, Callisto and Sincara get a good title reign. And it's a good match with the VOD Villains, Big Cass and Enzo, the Legionnaires, some good tag teams. I think the NXT Tag Team Division can be good again with Sankara and Kalisto leading the charge. Then we had Baron Corbin destroy TJ Parker with a huge swing in STL, which was very impressive. You seem to, see to believe. Like, this talk about it doesn't do it justice. Baron Corbin, they, they debuted him as a monster and he left a monster. And then the hair versus hair match. This was all saved by the, char the charisma of Enzo and Big Cass. Like, this match would have been terrible. It was an all right match. Enzo got the win. Pulling up the tights since best before. And their faces were already pulling up the tights. I don't see the point of that. But uh, it was all seen by Enzo's mic. So Enzo's, Enzo's promo walking to the ring was better than the whole match, I thought. And just before running away and Mark Lee getting the bucket dumped on him. It was kind of stupid. I thought the guy that, that was in the hair for the match should lose the hair, not the other guy. Then the big boot to Marcus Lee was fucking really good. That was the highlight. The big boot to Marcus, uh, Marcus Lee on the. On the stage. Then later in the show, they had to Marcus Lee down and explode his bald head. So everybody's disappointment in the audience. They can't make his NXT debut, announcing a new name change, the Hito Etime. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but, but that's a different name. Everybody's kind of disappointed that he changed his name, but that's what they do. Hido Etime. Etime. Sorry, I'm not going to pronounce the Japanese name. Sorry. Then the tension interrupt, and this made can't look like a badass. And it's him sitting on a chair and just going like, come on, come on, man, come on, guys. It was cool. And this big Ascension got like bitches. The Ascension were the most dominant tag team for a year, and they get bitched out by Kenta? That, man, in one show, you make the Ascension the top guys, and then just boom them down really bad. And how do you put them on the main roster now? They lost to the Lucha, Lucha Dragons, then they get bitched out. When they can't beat a guy two on one, but I'll just hopefully they can build him back up. But really, the dissension are big losers in this. Then we had the bull, the, the both statistically bull, bull Dancy bull match. I thought this might actually be a decent match. Nope, Bull Dancy beats him in like two minutes. Man, where was Mojo's, Mojo's push? They're pushing Bull Dancy now. He's a big monster. I hope he fuses Kevin Steen later on. That would be pretty cool. I would like that. Then Charlotte and Bailey, a hell of a one's match. Man, it was actually a slob rocker. There were some forearm exchanges that were, man, I, I, that was different than some men's matches. It was really good back and forth. I was rooting for Bailey. It made Bailey look like a great underdog. Great story, like story told. Charlotte's amazing in the ring for not really doing the indies that much. And Baylor made her look great. That's awesome storytelling. Not as good as Natalia Charlotte from the last NXT special, but still just a good Charlotte routine. And then Sasha coming out and beat up Bailey and Charlotte, saving her. What's that going to set up? What's next? Is Charlotte going to feud up Sasha? Are they going to do a three-way? I want to see, man. Definitely the women's division is the, the one thing NXT does great. The NXT women's matches are awesome. You check out Sasha and Bayley's matches from the past few NXTs. They're amazing. Sasha Bank is the it factor. They need to put her title on her sooner or later. But that's who I think you get the title win next, Sasha Banks. You know, the NXT title match, Adrian Allen versus Sami Zayn versus Titus Kidd versus Tyrese. Reese. It was slow-paced. They really, really built up to each spot. And I, the one thing I hate those matches... The, the, the Tyson kid, Sami Zayn one-on-one -on -one stuff took too long. I thought, and then Breeze and uh, Neville were knocked out too much, and, and uh, Tyson kid kept knocking Neville off the apron, which kind of got silly after the third time. But then Breeze's hit shots, hitting the super kick, then the beauty shot, then the drop kick were awesome, and then Breeze doing the hissy fit after he got the two count. Then my internet cut out, so I didn't get to see the finish, but the highlights made it look awesome. Great for it's hard to do a four way and make everybody look good, but they did that. Then the Neville, he'll turn with the super kick, right to 
uh, Sami Zayn, and then him getting the red arrow in Goodwin, and then him saying on the post show, he's not a bad guy, he didn't cheat? Ooh, that's adding some good character, Adrian Neville. Adrian Neville, has, there doesn't really much character to him. It's all his, his, his in-ring talents. But now adding that to him, and just adding another edge to him and Neville, him and Zayn having a rematch. I think Zayn will end up winning, but having Zayn lose three times on specials, I don't need that moves well for him, but I don't see where Kid and Breeze goes. I say move Breeze to the main roster. He's a great heel. And he can work great the main roster. But I don't know, with Ziggler and Fandango there, it's kind of hard to put him up there. Overall, this was an alright uh, NXT, NXT special. But I think th this, the Kenta debut, the NXT Women's title match, and the NXT title match are worth the watch. It's not bad to sit through. It's about an hour, uh, about two hours. It's not bad to sit through, but overall, my match tonight is the NXT Women's title match because I saw the whole match. And I can really give that my thumbs up, my approval. Charmers Bill back does the match. As always, follow me on Twitter at Sean Two Cents for all your hot show review news, all your wrestling news, all your things. Over 900 followers on there. And then, of course, he's at Force Tees slash Sean Cents. Buy a shirt, please. Help out, helps out more reviews. And this. Have a great day. And peace.